Death root, there you go. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I guess we're right to talk to him. Almost Ray, actually. There's still one place to... to explore. But yeah, this kind of looks like hazing. Kalen is not in his tent right now. Do you know where the king is? I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. I should go. As you wish. Let's talk to Duncan. I'll finish this silliness. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? We have! Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. this ritual is about? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. You are saying that this ritual can kill us? As could any darkspawn you might face in battle. You would not have been chosen, however, if I did not think you had a chance to survive. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. <laughs> the more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I don't like this any more than you do. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. But we don't know that, Darius. Don't we? The Grey Wardens have saved the world from Darkspawn before. I'd say they know better than anyone what it takes. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. 
The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Let's get on with this, then. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. He didn't actually step forward, did he? Forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had I known. There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? It's all up. I'm fine. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the Darkspawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. What kind of meeting? The King is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Hell up! Let him receive! First updated.
the farmer's robes. <laughs> Fucking farmer's robes. says plus one willpower, but willpower only gives me five mana or stamina, I think. But let's see, one, one, one of these is mana. Yeah. Well, this is much better looking, but I lose a lot of mana. So what can you do? Yeah, not getting hit is important, I think. Fire damage, go damage. One armor, a lot of resistances. To constitution and physical resistance. Okay. One magic and spirit resistance. don't have fucking clothes and I cannot wear them anyway. Unexpected. What's the max? Constitution and willpower. Max 23. Magic. Let's remember that number. I can get two. Let's remember that as well. I can get two. All right. Hex that inflicts penalty to cold electricity and spirit for twenty. Caster inflicts an enemy with a contagious hex. Penalty to cold electricity and nature. On the target and end nearby enemies. Don't know those hexes that don't sound really good. Caster drains a target and movement speed. Paralyzing it unless it passes a physical resistance. This could be useful. It could. For 15 seconds. Okay, let's keep that in mind. For 18 seconds. Cannot move. Well, that's a good one. I 
Master creates parasitic bond, stealing mana from it. To nullify mana from enemies. That's also a good one. Fucking shitty. Healing an ally. Regenerative energy to an ally granting them a boost of mana or regeneration for 10 seconds. None of this really appealed to me. I think I'm going with this one. Force field and uh, mind blast. Let us see which one is better. The whole group, let's see. Our fucking thing. Give me a second, please. Because I'm out to put two points. So what's better? Oh, these, these two later magical things. This mode is active, the caster enhances the party's melee weapons with the like, kinetic energy. It increases armor penetration. The character can only have one weapon enchantment active. Yasma. When this mode is active, the caster is an area of weakness. Afflicting. Attack and defense. Unless the opponents pass a physical resistance check, they also suffer penalty of movement. Okay. Caster encloses a target on a collapsing cage of the kinetic force for 9 seconds, inflicting sprint damage and possibly shattering those that have been petrified or frozen solid. All hostile targets, 35 magic. I think it's better to get this one. Really? This line, because it has lower stat requirements. That means I can start getting these eventually on the road. Yeah. I think that's better. Mind blast and force field. All right. Did I level up twice? It was no, that was not why I received. Spells, most certainly. I talked to Alistair. Alistair! If the king wants to see you and Duncan, you probably shouldn't keep him waiting. He might get mad, start crying, you'll feel bad. <laughs> All right. Let's divide this. A 
Let's put all paralyzing spells up here. Paralyzing spells. And all buffs and debuffs. This is personal defense, which I guess is a category of its own, and these are damage. I only have those two damage spells, which is fucking crazy. That means I cannot let anyone die without being crushed. I wonder if he replenished his stock. Hello again. Is there something you need? Apparently not. Do I want to save money? I don't think I want to. But maybe I should. There is always things you need to buy later. Okay, let's go and talk to the king. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. I didn't have a choice, really. I suppose none of us do. But every Grey Warden is needed. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. If it's not dangerous, I can do it myself. No. It's best that you both go. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Magi trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Galen. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Logain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Where is this tower of Ishal exactly? 
The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the king's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. When do we like the beacon? We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. What if the arch demon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. <laughs> if it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. How much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. That's actually true. I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. He doesn't exist! The Tower of Ishol. Okay, let's see if Mr. Grey Warden can get better equipped. Slightly better since we are most definitely going to be fighting Dark Spawn. Just a slightly better. I could put runes on this shit if I. Ah, I can sell garbage to that guy. Can I still go and do that? I should have. Actually. I still don't know what is the owners. Shit. How do I know what I'm losing? What I'm gaining? I don't know. It's just fucking ridiculous. See if I can still sell shit. Because I don't want to become. Please be there, Portas Master. Shit, he's no longer there. 